Today I'm going to show this little tiny circuitry over here. It started out as a uh, Jules Thief and it is still a Jules Thief. Uh, I saw a video on the YouTube. I will put the link of that video in the um, comment section. But uh, what that person is doing in his video, I could not uh, achieve that. So uh, I don't know is what he has put on the YouTube is real or fake. But anyway, not important for me. So I decided to get on with it on my own and to make it work. Uh, the setup is very simple. I'm using a 2N2222 uh, NPN transistor, one LED, a few wires and a large boost cap. It is a 2000 farad 2.7 volt DC. But at this moment there is only a roughly around uh, 0 0.4 something volt in it. I will measure it in uh, pretty shortly. <coughs> in the video of the person, uh, which I will put the link in the description, not the description, in the comments below, he had a um, a small toroid like this with eight turns. I made one with nine turns, as you can see it over here. Pretty small, pain in the neck to wind toroid. But uh, it, with this toroid, uh, when the voltage of that cap gets around 0 0.6 volt, uh, it wouldn't work anymore. So uh, anyway. Let me put a meter on it, so you can see the voltage that is in it now. Uh, yeah. How am I going to do that? Wait for it. It's kind of hard doing all this crap with two hands. Yeah, okay. There's the voltage in the cap now. Yeah, the leads are not really good connected on the cap. That's why it's, it's jumping all over the place. Okay, 0 0.415 is the voltage in this capacitor. A large farad capacitor uh, usually tends to gain some voltage even though they are not being charged. So that is what I saw in the video, decided to test it, but uh, it doesn't work in my setup. So I decided to uh, change it anyway to see if I can get that small LED to light up. It is light up, not much. But uh, the reason I build this is because I'm looking for a small circuitry that can power an LED just dimly because I want to use it as a beacon at night. When everyone is asleep, the house is pretty um, dark. So I want to put in the corridor and in the living room a few of these. So you can, uh, when you wake up and you're going uh, without using the uh, brighter lights, you have something to guide you in the dark. This is the voltage. 0 0.415. It's been running since yesterday. It was as uh, 0 0.6, uh, no, 0 0.585, I think, if I remember right. I'm gonna let it run and see uh, where it goes. Here is the schematic. Hope you guys can see that. Capacitor over here. This coil over here is a uh, is two wires, two strands. Each strand is 29 ohm. Each strand is 29 ohm resistance, and the wire size is 0 0.25 millimeter. Don't know what gauge it is. And and that's about it. 
very simple no I have no resistor going to the base no capacitor no nothing in the video that I will put in the comment below that video does have a 3.3k resistor on his base and a capacitor I tried that and when this capacitor was around 1 volt it did work but uh, when it got around half a volt it wouldn't work so I changed the coil remove the resistor from the base and the capacitor and as you can see it's very simple circuitry now and the dial is on the emitter and collector that's it let me turn on the lights so you can see over here that's the voltage in the capacitor and that is the small LED in the dark of course you cannot read or use it but the reason I'm trying this out is not to have a, a usable light just a little tiny light in the dark in your living room, in your bedroom, in a corridor so when you wake up at night you don't have to use yeah, the grid power and this light, this is a small bright yellow LED, LED uh, and it works pretty good let me turn on this one you can focus more on the small yellow LED it is not bad, it will certainly guide you in the door that is for sure Okie dokie. Uh, yes. So this is not special. Uh, just a very large capacitor with 0.415 volts in it. Drive a small yellow bright LED. There's a circuitry again. Very simple. The coil is two wires. 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.25 millimeter I don't know the uh, numbers the amount of uh, windings but I do know that each winding is 29 ohm each uh, after this one I have more of these uh, capacitors as you can see here I have two in series so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shorten um, when I'm done with this video Short them out, let the voltage climb to uh, wherever I want to climb to. I hope to, to get around 1 volt and then put the same circuitry on it again. Maybe then I have to modify the base a little bit with the resistor so it doesn't draw too much and uh, go from there. There's a the voltage. I don't know. Um, well, let me put it this way, I haven't seen any Shultif running on below uh, 0 0.5 volt. So, uh, this is 0 0.415, so yeah, that's pretty low. And still driving the LED. Okay, hope that was uh, helpful. And um, when I'm going to do this test also, I will make a video on it. There are the uh, information of the caps. I'm gonna show you once again the dark. There's a voltage in the cap, and there's a bright, tiny yellow LED running. Now, I hope you enjoyed it link of the video I was talking about will be in the comment section thanks for watching